Hey there, this is going to be a Final Cut Pro X tutorial on how to keyframe zooming and panning to create a Ken Burns type of effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a uh, still picture to show you how to do this of uh, this awesome cat here. And the way keyframing works is you set the position um, in different places on your timeline here. So I've got my playhead at the first frame of this. You can see it's the first frame because of the film strip marker there. And over here I could transform it. I can scale it up and down. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use the position tool. Yeah, or it's called the transform tool. And as long as this is blue, then if I move this, it will... Um, move the image where I want it to be. So I'm going to move it there and I'm going to zoom it up a bit more so it fills up the whole screen. Okay, so if I were to move the playhead to the end and then make adjustments to that, um, it would just it would just adjust the whole clip. What I want to do is I want to lock this setting for the first frame and I want a different setting for the ending frame. And the way you do that is you, you create a keyframe here. So I'm going to add a keyframe under the position control. And I'm also going to uh, do scale at the same time. So we'll pan and zoom at the same time. So I'm going to keyframe the scale as well. And if I was going to make this rotate and appear to be rotating, you could do the rotate. Basically, you can keep, um, you can see all the ones that have this little option. You can add a keyframe. So the fact that this is lit up and it's yellow means there's a keyframe on this frame. And if I advance the playhead a couple of frames, uh, watch here, you'll see the keyframe disappear. So there's no keyframe, but it tells me there is a keyframe in this clip, uh, and it tells me it's to the left. I, I can click to the left, and it'll take me to the next keyframe. So there I'm on, on a keyframe. Now what I want to do is I want to move all the way to the end of the clip. Now this tells me that I'm not actually on the clip. I'm actually after the clip. So if I move the playhead to the left one click, there we, we see with the film strip that I'm now on the last frame of this clip. And what I need to do is I need to add keyframes for that last frame as well. So now I have a keyframe there, and I have a keyframe on the first frame, I have a keyframe on the last frame. So now any changes that I make to the position or the scale are going to be um, for only for this frame. And what Final Cut X, it will fill in the blanks between them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan up to get the evil eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and um, use scale to zoom in at the same time. And now let's play this and see how it looks. There we go. So we can see it's <clears throat> it's just panning along the same path that I gave it with that beginning and ending. And if you wanted to go faster, you would just have your have less frames. Now that you have this, you can click. There's a couple of settings that I don't really know what they do. Uh, but when you click on this, you should see this little dot here, and you can actually adjust sort of the path along which it moves. So you can see it kind of went to the left a bit, and then it's going to swoop back around to the right. I'm not really sure what purpose that serves, but that is pretty much in a nutshell how to keyframe animations in Final Cut Pro X. So if you have any comments or tips, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around next time.